Hello everyone, this is Banyan back in the lab uh, slash dining room. Today what we're gonna do, um, uh, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little tour, guided tour of the cell uh, with uh, all the, the new addition um, uh, that I've made. Uh, and second of all, uh, we're gonna run some efficiency test to see um, if uh, the water pump is gonna change the product production and second of all, if the water pump will help to keep the temperature down on the cell. I will run the, the cell uh, for one hour uh, with the pump on. I will also do the test uh, with you guys. So you're going to see uh, if the, this, the, the water pump changed the product production or not. And uh, after that, I will let it cool down and make another test without the pump. Uh, let it run for an hour again and see uh, what it's the uh, temperature increase so let's get started here so i since we're gonna make uh, some tests about uh, the temperature of the water i took off my thermometer digital thermometer that i had on my old thing here this old wet thing there <laughs> and then i add it here so as you can see um, this is the 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 the, the cadran. and in the front, in the back, in the in the in the back here, uh, I installed a little thermi uh, thermometer. <coughs> I'm gonna show you here in the profile. So this is it. It goes in the cell. You can see it here. And then um, this is it for the thermometer. I did finally receive my amp meter. So it's a DC amp meter that goes all the way up to 50 amp. Um, I will try to zoom here so you can see the number. The camera doesn't want to focus on that. Oh, there we are. There's not, a, not enough light in the house uh, right now, sorry. But I think you saw it. And then um, I didn't notice um, that when the water is hot in the, in the, in the electrolyte tank, uh, it take, and it cooled down. And when I turned the, the, the cell off, uh, obviously the water cooled down, so it shrank and it created a negative pressure in the electrolyte tank, and it was sucking the water from the bubbler. Um, right now you can see that the water level in the hose of the bubbler is about here which is equal to the water level in the bubbler which is normal but when the the, when the, the pressure uh, of the water cooling down was uh, raising up the water was raising up in the, the, all the way up the, the tube as well so you can see if you compare with my earlier video I used to have water about all the way up to here in the bubbler. Uh, so I lost one inch of water. By the way, this is tap water and this is distilled water with electrolyte. So I, I, I lost about one inch of water from the bubbler into the electrolyte. Uh, well, we don't want it, obviously. So to fix the problem, what I've done is I purchased a solenoid valve that uh, work on 12 volt. And uh, this solenoid is uh, naturally open, and when you apply current on, it close. So what's happened when you turn off the cell, it open and release the pressure, uh, the negative, it releases the negative pressure from the tank. So in other, world, in, in other words, it allows the, the, the air to go in the tank. Um, so, and this is my water pump, uh, 12 volt DC. You can see here DC 12 volt. Um, I don't know how many gallons per minute it, it pump, but um, uh, it's pretty efficient pump. It consumes about one amp. So <coughs> what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to set the camera on the tripod and uh, run some production test with the HHO meter to see uh, if uh, the, the pump change, uh, increase the production or decrease it. So uh so this I'm going to do it right now and come back. <laughs> 